On the rare occasions when Rob does come across a boat which is faster than the Leopardess, he's got a trump card. <laughs> This inflatable dinghy, which can be launched off the stern, is the fastest boat in these waters. Even the best equipped drug smuggler hasn't got a hope in hell of outrunning this. As long as you stay on the right side of the law and have plenty of money, Guernsey seems to provide a fantastic lifestyle. It also has its own unique cultural flavour. Well, I really like Guernsey. There's a Frenchness to it, but not a pure Frenchness. It's a very sort of honest, genuine thing that they've got of their own. And the people here seem very happy, very friendly. It's a good old Guernsey. The next leg of my journey is going to take me to a most extraordinary island, the last feudal state in Europe, where cars are banned and there's still an ancient rite that a man can beat his wife with a stick as long as it's no thicker than his little finger. The next stop on my journey around Britain's southern islands is Sark, the very last feudal state in the Western world. Run by a group of 40 tenant farmers who lease their land from a feudal lord. It's the island that time forgot. Well, we're heading towards Sark here, but just before you should look at this, is um, Reku Island where the intriguing and mysterious Barclay brothers have built their pretty splendid uh, castle stroke palace stroke fort. And uh, they, they very much keep themselves to themselves. The Barclays, who own the Daily Telegraph and the Ritz, have spent tens of millions of pounds on their castle and are fiercely protective of their privacy. You have to have special permission to land on the island or even to fly over their airspace. So I won't be stopping there. Sark is about three miles long and a mile and a half wide. Standing 350 feet above sea level, it's home to just 600 people. Here we are. Lots of tractors, no cars allowed on Sark. Sark is 80 miles south of the English coast and only eight miles east of Guernsey. It's closer to France than Britain. Welcome to Sark, young man. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Find me. Uh, all right, hello. It's a good house for a Thursday. <laughs> Tractors are the only motor vehicles allowed on the island. And you can only have one if it's essential for your work. There can't be many places left in the world where the pace of life is quite so sedate. The island is so small that it has only two volunteer part-time police constables. Hi, Alan. Hi there. Oh, hi. Okay. You're having a non-law enforcing day? Yes, today I am, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just get a bit of plumbing done in between. As well as being a policeman, Alan's also a plumber and a fireman. Yeah, I do um, like your tractor. Yeah. Well, it's very handy for my work. Yeah. I don't need a big tractor, there's just me and a couple of boxes of tools, really. Alan's allowed a tractor because of his plumbing work, but it also comes in handy as a patrol car. He offered me the chance to ride shotgun. And 
narrow spine of land links Little Sark, where Alan's house is, to Great Sark, where most of the rest of the islanders live. Not many plumbers or even policemen have a commute like this. Oh my God! Oh. Oh. Alan wanted to show me one of the island's oldest institutions. Eighteen fifty-six. Yeah. This is the smallest working jail in the world, allegedly, and as well as all his other jobs, Alan is Sark's jailer. Welcome to the prison. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, it's two cells, and that's it. The crapper. Hmm. The prison seems to have been kitted out with old school furniture. When was it last occupied? Last Wednesday. Well, who by? Um, three lads who were accused of doing something, um, and obviously they had to be arrested for the investigations. Um, they were held here for a few hours and then transported back to Guernsey. But I certainly wouldn't like to stay in it. You wouldn't? No. No. I wouldn't mind this all. I mean, I've been in some cells. Uh, in the interest of... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never... Well, there was that once, but... I, I, you know, filming and things, isn't it? Nice bit of whitewash. A mattress, even. Yeah. Luxury. Apart from cycling on bumpy dirt roads, the only other way to get around, unless you qualify for a tractor, is by horse-drawn cart, which suits me fine. I love horses. We're lucky enough to keep a few at home, Morning. though I've never driven a carriage before. And now's my chance Morning. to learn. Hello, Martin. Ross. All right. Hi. All right. Hi, nice to see you. Nice Bye, to see you, too. Rossford de Cartret is one of the island's foremost driving instructors. He's going to have to be if he's going to get me through the driving test in the short time I have here. What's his uh, name? Toby. Yeah. Right, welcome. Welcome. That's it. And you drive on the left-hand side of the road. And you get farted out. Yeah. Well, why jet, not? Jet power. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bit. Sometimes you will be carrying a whip. With this one, you don't need a whip. And you can keep your hand down a little bit lower, otherwise you're going to be, after two hours, right. you're going to be a little bit okay. weary. Oh, I need right. to. Come on, boat. But Rossford's not just a driving instructor. He's also one of the island's 40 tenant farmers who make up the parliament under a feudal lord. But after 400 years of feudalism, things are about to change. Now on the right hand side, you can see the top of the island of Breco with the yes. castle on. Yes, I've only seen it from the water. Yeah, well, that is owned by the Bartley brothers, uh -huh. these two twins. Sark's rich and powerful neighbours have pushed for the island to comply with the EU Convention on Human Rights and adopt greater democracy. Some islanders welcome the changes, but others worry that with democracy will come cars, a heliport and all the trappings of the 21st century and that their unique way of life will disappear forever. The island's current feudal lord, or seigneur, may be its last, and I'm wondering what he makes of the way things are changing. I'm meeting him at La Seigneurie, where his family have lived and ruled for four centuries. How should I address you? Uh, well, the, the word senior is only used for official purposes. Right. It isn't, uh, uh, 